So hello guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Go vlog. Uh, I wanted to do another one of these a lot sooner, but as you can see if you've watched me play on the channel before or live stream, I'm not in the cupboard anymore. I'm in a big massive room. I moved out of the cupboard, my wife let me out. So I'm set up here, so I've been quite busy uh, doing a lot of reshuffling around the house and setting up and building furniture. Uh, what this vlog today is going to be about uh, is my wife and I are actually going to Ikea and I thought I'll record a little vlog and see what we catch on the way. There's a few places, there is a certain place I would like to hit up on the way. And the place we want to hit up is actually Tesco. Uh, the Tesco car park has been known to be a Magnemite nest now. I had actually had trouble catching a Magnemite. Two of them got away from me before I finally caught one and I caught three in one day in that car park. Now, my wife Jillian was able to evolve her Magnemite into a Magneton, she caught so many. So I would like to be able to do that. Uh, but I hear nests have changed a little bit. So well, I noticed if you watch the first vlog, I was saying how I get a lot of drowsies in my house. It's now Pidgeys. So I don't know how nests are changing, but it seems the nest at my house which was once a drowsy, is now, like, it's pidgey -fy. there's loads of pidgeys, it's ridiculous. I think I've went through, like, four pidgeots. Now, I'm not going to take too long on this, but I'm just going to show you what Pokemon I have now, since it has been quite a while since we've had an update, and I have been playing this game non-stop. So we'll look at Pokemon, and you can see my pride and joy at the top is a 1500 Arcanine. And I actually caught that right outside my house. It's like the one I put in gyms. I don't know why I bother with gyms, because I just get beat all the time. Uh, I've got a Flareon, a Golduck. I've got two Hypnos. I don't know why. I got two 1000 Hypnos, and I just thought it's always good to have a spare. I might trade that one in one day. I have a Porion, Pidgeot, Clefable, and then the rest is kind of your usual... Standard fare, you know. My Pokedex, we'll have a wee look at that. I'm currently at Caught 93, Scene 94. Now, the one that got away, when I find it here, a bloody dugong. It appeared not far from my house. I'd went a wee walk to try and catch it, and my game crashed. And then when I reloaded, it was gone. So the dugong got away. I am nowhere near to evolving a seal into a dugong. We've seen my Pokedex, we've seen my, my best Pokemon. I think what we'll do now is we'll have a wee look at my eggs to see what's about to hatch. So I've got three in the incubators just now. I've got a 2k egg, which is at 1.9, so it's about to go. And two 5k eggs at 1.9. So we should definitely uh, hatch that 2k. And well, I'm driving for a bit, so I don't know if the 5Ks will hatch, but hopefully from the 2K we'll get something cool. I'd really like the starter Pokemon because I'd really like to start evolving them, and they're bloody red in these parts. I, I don't. I see a few Squirtles, uh, but I've only ever seen one Bulbasaur in the wild, and it escaped. The Bulbasaur I got was from an egg, so I'd like to get like a Bulbasaur, a Charmander, or a Squirtle, and try and get a bit closer to evolving them. What a Pikachu! Right, you would be nice. Nowhere near that either. So, guys, I'll leave it at that. I'll just uh, film as I'm going up to IKEA, and I hope you enjoy the video. Well, you might remember when I done the last episode, I said. Oh, wait, your eggs hatching. Oh. What are we going to get in my egg? It's a good one. Is it? It's a Pikachu. A fucking Pikachu. A Pikachu. It's a Belter as well. I was just saying before I left that I would really like a Pikachu. Oh, Ooh. and you got your congratulations, you earned a medal, three Pikachu. Now you don't like your voice and camera, what's going to be on it now? I know. <laughs> right, so what I was saying there, uh, if you remember in the last episode I mentioned I was having a problem with tracking uh, Pokemon and the tracker wouldn't update so Gary was doing all the tracking for me. Now I actually hate myself a little bit for this. Uh, it was all because the time on my phone was wrong. So, 
make sure when you're playing Pokemon Go, if you're having problems, make sure you set your clock to automatic and make sure the time is correct or Pokemon won't spawn, eggs won't hatch and it's a very unpleasant experience up to level 20 by the way. That's how far I got using with this silly bug. It's not even a bug, it's my fault. Now this is the thing about trying to track Pokemon now, is it's virtually impossible. The game has become pretty much a game of chance. You just walk about and hoping to find something. Pretty rubbish. Here's the thing, it's not a Magnemite, but it's a Voltorb. So there's something about electric Pokemon in Tesco. Let's catch it. Stop with a grey head, gonna get my birthday present and uh, I think it might be a speed honest. See you catch some Pokemon. So it turns out, Brayhead was a Pidgey, Rattata, Spiro hybrid nest onto Ikea. There we go. <laughs> Let's get here before we all lose our heads. It's a fucking Spiro.